Zach Humphrey sitting down with Michael Wernicke in his sixth season here for the Penguins. Coach, what did you learn prior to coming here at Canisius and Mercyhurst that has helped you? Um, you know, as an assistant coach, a big part of our job is recruiting. And uh, at schools like that, you really have to hone your skills at evaluating talent. Um, you know, you're never going to be in a position where you're where you're getting the best players out there, so you really have to be able to go to different places and evaluate and, and find guys that you're looking for that fit your system. So that really carried over to this job. What are some things that uh, you personally demand from your players that you specifically coach? You know, at the end of the day, the, the, the biggest things are accountability, um, hard work on the floor, and you know, handling your business in the classroom. You know, other than that, everything else will take care of itself. A lot of new faces this season. What are some of your expectations for those guys and some of the contributions you think that those guys can make for your team? Um, you know, we're, we're still kind of in the infancy of, of learning about this group. Um, my expectations for everybody are wide open, um, but pretty high at the, in the same sense. You know, we've recruited everybody here because we felt like they were good players. Um, you know, so without getting into, you know, specifics with any single, you know, any specific player, you know, this group has a chance to be very good. They're very different than a lot of the teams we've had here. And, uh, you know, as, as we move through practice and up to our first game, um, it'll be interesting to see how they pan out. But, I mean, I, we have high expectations, but they're channeled right now until we see, you know, how this team comes together. Coach Slocum touched a little bit on how he thought Butler has helped the Horizon League as a whole. What's your take on that? It's definitely helped. I mean, their run has, has been good for exposure to the league. Um, you know, obviously each team individually doesn't get some of that national recognition, but the league itself has put itself on a different level and now that we're you know in the top ten in the country um, as far as leagues goes it, it does help you attract a better quality player with you playing at Pitt uh, describe that experience for you there on the on and off the court and how that has helped you again through your success coaching um, on the court you know I, I was I was lucky to be taught and coached by some very good coaches um, guys that have gone on to become successful head coaches at the division one level um, so that's definitely made a big impact on, on my career. Also, uh, competing every day against players that, you know, that were recruited very heavily and guys that have gone on to play at the next level um, was something that I really enjoyed, um, that, that daily competition. So, you know, those two things have helped my career um, on and off the court, to be honest with you. From what you've seen so far uh, from this team, where does it rank as far as talent-wise? I know you haven't played any games right. yet, but just some... Um, I will say this, we, we do two things significantly better than any team that we've had, and that's shoot the ball 1 through 15 and pass the ball 1 through 15. Um, so that's definitely going to have an impact on our, on our play. Uh, we have a much, a, a very unselfish group, and like I said, we shoot the ball better, pass the ball better. So that should be exciting as we move forward.